All right. <laughs> ah, Hajime, over here. Mikan, Ibuki, Hiyoko are all here. Um, the names on the staff roll for Twilight Cinder murder case were... Si Siku... Sumiki... Kozumi... Sai... Sai... Sion... Sionji? Mioda... Saito... Kuzuryu... Wow... I really wanted Fuyuhiko to come too, but he locked himself in his cottage and wouldn't come out for me. I always Sorry. forget their last names. Or first names, whatever you call it. So unfortunately, he's absent. It's probably because I'm so incompetent. I apologize. It's okay to be absent. I thought you said we'd get executed if we didn't come. Executed? I mean, you said Monokuma had something important to tell us, right? We came here because you told us that. <laughs> Sorry, that was a lie. <laughs> a lie? You tricked us. What the? What the heck? Jeez. Fine, then I'm leaving. Wait. Can you wait until we finished our business with you? Right, Hajime? This is like... I'm on the same team as Nagito. No, I can't focus on that right now. I have to get information from them. Hey, Ibuki. Can I ask you something? Why, you... Bring it on! Have you played Twilight Syndrome Murder Case? Oh, well, that's a computer game, right? I'm basically awful at those things. Get Ibuki's a tough girl, so I don't touch anything powered by electricity except electri electric guitars. I'm pretty sure that's a lie, but now's not the time to really dwell on something like that. Her unique tone and hyper energy. There is a character like that in the game, too. Let me ask you one more thing. What's the relationship between you and my hero? <laughs> you mean that in a perverted way? N no, in a normal way. Aww. Well, even if you ask me that, Ibuki's encounter with my hero was... Mm, oh. When I asked my hero this morning to go to the beach with us, she made this real disappointing face. A disappointing face? I see, I see. Yeah, but disappointment varies depending on the person. Ibuki associates it with department store rooftops. Let's stay focused on my hero. That's totally it! It turns out, my hero had some business too, and she wanted to invite me to that instead. She said something like, I was thinking about meeting with everyone, but if you already have plans... Um, do you know what she meant by everyone? Aww. Nope, I didn't ask. I see. My hero invited Ibuki. Why? What a question indeed. Do you have anything important to say? Shiaki, can you give me a summary of that game? Yep. Summary of Twilight Syndrome murder case, right? First, the characters who appear in it are... High school girls A, B, C, D, and girl E. There's also guy F who appears in the end, and... The high school girl who got killed at the beginning, right? During the game's first day, a murder occurred in the music room. Five high school girls are the first ones to discover the body. However, they don't want to get involved, so they end up pretending that they didn't see the body. On the second day, the murder case made the newspaper and an article stated that a pervert was the killer. People never found out about the five girls, but in fact, Girl D had taken pictures of the crime scene. The girls were afraid they'd be cursed, but Girly got angry and ripped the photos to shreds. Mm. Next is the third day. Girl D summons Girl E and shows her a certain photo. It's a photo of a piece of a broken vase that was in the classroom next to the crime scene. Girl E gets really upset and throws that photo in the garbage. But Girl E didn't know that Guy F recovered the photo. Well? And finally, the fourth day. Girl E hears a voice saying, I'll never forgive you and dies from a blow to her head with a metal bat. Hey, hey. That's about it. Yeah, thanks. That was a big help. I was a little bit uncertain on day uh, two and four because it had been a couple days. Hey, do you have a minute? There's something I wanted to ask you. 
Have you played Twilight Syndrome Murder Case, Meekin? Um... No. Since we said we weren't going to play that game. Also, I'm not really good at video games. I'm pretty slow. And I panic instantly. Her timid tone. I'm pretty sure that the girl A character was like that too. Hey, hey. Anyway, can you tell me about your relationship with my hero? <laughs> relationship? With my hero? Well... I, I first met her. Uh, when we first gathered at the classroom with everyone else. And after arriving at the island, I did have a few conversations with her, but... Uh... Oh, could it be? Did my hero hate me? <laughs> That's definitely it. She hated me. She doesn't know anything. No, it's more like she doesn't remember anything. But even though she hated me, for her to actually invite me... She must have been a really kind person. Invite? <laughs> My hero invited me this morning. This morning? Um. She looked very serious. And she was wondering if we could all meet up so she could discuss something. But I already had plans to go to the beach, so I had to decline. Because I needed to prepare for that. And when I did, she made this lonely face and said that she'd reschedule for another day. You know, unless she's dead. But if only I went with her, this wouldn't have happened. Ooh, ah! My hero invited Meekin. Why? I see. Looks like we've obtained some pretty valuable testimonies. Based on that, seems that my hero also beat that game. Why do you know that? You don't know? If she hadn't, she wouldn't have chosen these people to talk to. Because she beat the game, she talked to the people who appeared in that game. <laughs> Just like what we're doing right now. But still... But in her case, it, the, it was much more serious. Probably. I mean, she was forced to learn that she was involved in that game. That's true. Mm. But I'm surprised. I never thought my hero would play that game. It's true, that was unexpected. Nagito, didn't you tempt her into playing that game? Huh? What? I remember. Anyway, what happened to my hero? Did she leave saying she had some business to take care of? Why do you know that? Wait, you tempted her, right? Just like you did to me. How mean. Tempt? That's a rude thing to say. No, that's wrong! That's disrespectful towards my hero. Isn't that right? There's no way her feelings would change just because a useless guy like me tempted her. At that time, she was already considering giving that game a try. All I did was give her a little push. It's obvious. That's all it was. What the heck? Well... But more importantly, isn't it better if we listen to what she has to say? She's being quiet as ever. I'm counting on you, Hiyoko. Hey. If my hero spoke to everyone who appeared in the game, she should have talked to you too, right? Well, Hiyoko? <laughs> she never talked to me at all. That's weird. Man, what a surprise. I didn't expect you to ask me such an easy question. Bye. So I'm just going to go back to my cottage now. Hey, Hiyoko. Ignoring my voice, Hiyoko ran away as though she were avoiding me. <laughs> Looks like it's okay to say she ran away. Yeah, she's clearly suspicious. That's pretty much decided. Decided? Now then. Regardless, it looks like we're finished here, so why don't we part ways for now? There's still something I need to investigate. Bye now. I'll see you again later. Ah, hey! What the heck is his problem? Even his exit was pushy. Chiaki, what should we do? Should we go back to the scene of the crime one more time and investigate? It's very important to investigate the scene of the crime, but let's go over to my hero's cottage first. My hero's cottage? If she beat that game, it's best if we investigate there, I think. See? She might have that. Oh, the ending prize. If that's the case, I'll go with you. You're okay with that, right? Hmm. 
that's your cue to say yes. I suppose she's okay with it. If it's not the bat, which it, I mean, it easily could not have been. You know, it could have been something from the supermarket. Then it might be, you know, she might actually have it in her cottage. Which would make a lot of sense. Alright, which one is my dears? That's my hero, right? Yeah. The door looks unlocked. Phew. Moving after you've told after you told would be too third rate. So I made sure to be one step ahead. However, removing what's inside is a huge no-no. There are others who want to investigate too. I guess I should go inside. Well, there's a very obvious Monokuma hidden in here. Was that the price? Compared to my room, the cottage had a somewhat pleasant smell wafting through the room. That proves my hero was here. But she's not coming back. That's tragic. Um, then I should... Try looking for a naughty book. Why? Yep. Now, now. I was only kidding. I'm kidding. Are you that kind of person? Jeez, well, at least I don't feel nervous anymore. Wait, could that be the reason she said that? See? But it looks like we don't need to search for it. Check out that thing on top of the bed. On top of the bed. I will. Let me, let me check out only ever so slightly hidden Monokuma. No. Surfboard Monokuma! There's other cool stuff to look at, too. Nothing hiding up there. Not today. There's a shower room past this point. Even though I'm investigating, it feels awkward to go in there. Looks like there's no clues either. How do you know? Maybe someone's name's written on the wall. These photos. My hero must have taken them. She probably developed them at the supermarket. Even in this situation, there's a lot of photos of smiling people. Is that because of her personality? Let's look at the camera and be disappointed again. There's the window. This is like my cottage. It has an open design that evokes a feeling of, of tropical relaxation. There's not much that catches my eye. Looks like we don't need to search for it. On top of the bed. Okay. There's an envelope. On top of the bed. Hey, hey. Could it be... This might be it. The ending prize Monokuma gave to the first person who beat that game. Um. What's inside the envelope? Let's find out. I turned over the envelope and what came falling out was... A few photos. We know how Monokuma likes his photos. This photo. Yep, there you go. This is a photo of Mikan, Ibuki, and Hyoko in what appears to be some sort of entrance hall. It's just like that game. Yep. It was there was a similar scenario during the first day in Twilight's True Edition. Girl B was in a bad mood because Girl A was late and tried to cheer her up by taking her picture. Is this the photo she took? Oh, she did take a photo, I remember. And then I think she got mad about the photo as well. Look at this photo too. Yep, I remember that one. A broken vase. Is that the same photo Girl D showed Girl E on the third day? As I recall, a broken vase is in the classroom next to the music room. But this photo is more shocking. 
As Chiaki showed the photo to me, I was stunned into silence. Mm. This is an actual photo of a dead body. Since there's a piano behind the body, it looks like it's in the music room. If that's the case, could this be the photo of the first victim? You mean, it's the victim of the murder that occurred on the first day. Oh. Yeah, the one they blamed on a pervert. High school girl's crime scene photo. Mm. And one more. This is the last photo. Ugh. Mm. This is probably the photo of girl E after she got killed on the fourth day. I mean, it nearly matches her body in the game. See? There's no mistake. This is a photo of girl E. Mm. With that, we finished looking at all the photos. So based on all these photos... Yep. Yeah, it seems pretty clear. This is the ending prize. This is the ending prize for beating Twilight. And what's depicted in these photos proves that Twilight Syndrome murder case is based on an actual murder. Does that mean that stuff about our memories being stolen? Huh? What's this? Is there something else? See? There's a note inside the envelope. Try playing Twilight Syndrome. After you get a game over, press down five times for the real game. Once you do, you should remember what you all did to my sister. We'll talk then. This note. Wait. Maybe the first person out. to beat the game and receive the ending prize. Wasn't my hero. Someone else sent this to my hero. And that person is the one who actually received the ending prize. My hero wasn't just lured there by Nagito. She also received this envelope. Yep. And that's why she played that game, right? Then the person who played this game first. This envelope looks very familiar. And the word sister written in this note. Based on these clues, I can't think of anyone other than him. Guy F. Hey, hey. Yep, I'm glad we came here to investigate. Because we did that, we discovered a very important clue. Yeah, I agree. But there's still one thing left. We have to find out who actually killed my hero, but... There's not much time left. I need to hurry. So, do we have to reinvestigate the crime scene again, or what are we, what are we doing now? Oh, hi, Nagito. <laughs> Hajime and Chiaki. What a coincidence. If something happens twice, third time's the charm, so they say... What coincidence? Are you a stalker or something? Now, now. Don't say that. I was just thinking about filling you in on the results of my investigation. Results? Did you find something? Bow to me. I'll let you know if you drop to your knees and lick my shoes. Huh? <laughs> that sounds familiar. Just kidding. I was joking. You didn't sound like a joke to me. Actually. Well, it's about the footprints killer left their footprints in front of the beach house, right? Did you find out whose footprints those are? <laughs> if you want to know, I highly recommend you come to the beach house with me. With you? Of course you'll come with me, right? I don't trust him as far as I can throw him. And I can't throw him too far, but I can get a clue. If I can get a clue, what are you going to do, Chiaki? Mm. I'm going to try to talk to Fuyuhiko and see if he can tell me anything. So I'll leave this to you. Yep. Yep, that's definitely a good idea. If someone like me tried to talk to him, it'd be impossible. But it might be different with a girl. Just be careful that he doesn't get rough with you. Yep. I guess this is where we part. I'll see you later, Hajime. What? Did you actually want her to stay? Actually, what do you mean? Bye now. Let's go. I'll go on ahead to the beach house and wait there. 
Hi Gundam, what are you up to? Have you been doing anything so useful? I was right. Huh? What happened, sinner? I already assumed you would come here. Fine. There is nothing you can hide from me. The supreme overlord who wields the four dark devas of destruction. Thus I know everything. For instance, I happen to know you fiends. I can see it! We're preoccupied with your infantile beach play. Nature, the collective will of the world. It matters not, for what I love is silence and solitude. That's right, that's it. That's precisely it. I see. So he wanted to be invited too. Well, sorry, we're not gonna do that, loser. I'm going to the beach. I'm gonna have a swim. I completely forgot this door won't open because my hero's body's blocking it. I should go around the other side. I don't think... See, we were talking about that. I don't really think my hero's body would be enough to keep the door from opening. It might make it more difficult, but you could still force it open. Now then. Let's try going inside. My. Nagito? Whoa! Why the heck are you here? Hello there. Why, hello there, Kazuichi. Thanks for going easy on me earlier. Thanks to you, I was able to walk away with just a mild bruising. You clearly think like an ultimate. What the heck? Uh, this guy. Um. You two have arrived at a good time. Big news. I have discovered something very terrible. A terrible discovery? Um. Not only that, I believe it's nothing like Sanya's, but... There's something I noticed too. You too, Mikan? <laughs> this is great. It looks like the investigation is reaching its boiling point. You got anything you want to talk about? Hey, tell me what you know already. Didn't you find out whose footprints those were? Actually, how were you able to find that out? I... After listening to everyone's story at the airport, I went to a certain place. Well, it's probably better to say I snuck in. <laughs> to everyone's cottages. Everyone's cottages? Yep. I told Monokuma I needed access for the investigation, so he simply let me in. That, he did something shady again. Now then. But why did I do something like that? Well, I'll explain my reasoning to you. Nagito squatted down near the entrance to the beach house and began to spread some papers he was holding. See? Come on, Hajime, take a look. After all, I went to all the trouble of gathering all of this. Oh, our shoe size? Those footprints. I see, so the reason you snuck inside everyone's cottages was... Yep. That's right. I wanted to get a sample of everyone's footprints. But unfortunately, Fuyuhiko wouldn't leave his cottage, so I couldn't complete it. <laughs> well, I guess it's no big deal. It seems obvious that the footprints belong to this person. Whose footprints are they? Yep. Hiyoko... Sion... Sion... Sionji... G... Yeah. Hiyoko's. Well... To be honest, the reason I summoned her to the airport was so I could lure her out of her cottage. She shut herself in her cottage, remember? If she stayed in there, I couldn't sneak in. Perhaps. So I figured if I lured her out, she wouldn't be in a hurry to go back to her cottage. You're treating her like a small animal. <laughs> but it was totally worth it. The footprint I collected there was smaller than anyone else's. It matched the footprints at the beach house. Yep, there's no mistake. Those are Hiyoko's footprints. Well, I kind of figured that. Also, it's not like I was snooping around or anything, but I found something really interesting at her cottage. Something interesting? See? I found a lot of these candies inside her room, gummy bears. Mm. They're gummy candies that come in four different flavors. Strawberry, melon, grape, and orange. It looks like she got it from the supermarket. Apparently she really likes this brand of gummies. There should have been a other gummy brands, but she only brought home a bunch of these. People are like that sometimes. 
There are people who only eat the same brand, even if it's just potato chips. What's wrong with that? Well, it's not clear if this relates to the incident, but I thought I should tell you just in case. Just in case. Coming from this guy, that means it probably greatly relates to the incident. We got a gummy bag. Well, that does, I mean, at the very least, we can for sure say, you know, we were very suspicious of it before. We can definitely say that around or after, possibly, the time of murder, Kyoko came in here. And she was either the murderer or she witnessed the murder, I'm assuming, due to the fact that she probably was in the closet. Alright, Sonya, what you got? Big news! I have big news! Huge, huge news! What's the big news? See? Remember that Sun Witch Esper Ito mask that every that was next to my hero's body? Oh, the mask the killer used to hide their face. Listen! No, that is not correct. The mask was not just used to hide their face. Then what was it for? Well? Sparkling Justice! <laughs> huh? Sparkling Justice is a serial killer and self-professed ally of justice whose name makes mankind shudder. They wear a hero mask at all times. Supposedly, they are a serial killer who only murders other criminals. That is an order! Do not look so disappointed, Hajime. You need to be surprised. Hey. The Sparkling Justice character. That's the serial killer you were talking about before, right? It's true that the mask we found is a hero mask, but... It is a hero heroine mask, to be precise. Sun Witch Esper Ito is a pretty witch girl. See, a heroine. Anyway. So you're saying it's possible that the serial killer is the one who killed my hero. <laughs> Which means there's a serial killer hiding among us. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've seen a twist like this in some video game. This is stupid. Serial killer. The killer just used it to cover their face. That's weird. But even so, they sure chose something that stands out. That might be true, but... However... Although it's easy to write this off as foolish, it might be best if we exercise some caution. Sonya, can you tell me everything you know about the so-called sparkling justice? As the light of justice shines upon my mask, I expose the hearts of malevolent evil. What? <laughs> justice complete! <laughs> is that what they the say? The center of justice that is pierced by justice! The lead star of justice that shines in the night sky! That would be me! Sparkling Justice! What the heck was that? Well? That is Sparkling Justice's catchphrase! What? An unknown serial killer has a catchphrase? Do you have a minute? I read it in a magazine in the library. There's only ever been one person, a journalist, who has interviewed Sparkling Justice. The article was written in their native language, so I tried translating it. However... In the end, that journalist was punished by Sparkling Justice, too. <sighs> no good can come from getting involved with a serial killer. Serial killer might not want to hear that from you. Is all I know about Sparkling Justice. Thanks to the mask, nobody knows their true age or gender, making them a very mysterious individual. Hey, isn't that kind of a stretch? To say that there's a serial killer hiding in our group. Listen! No, it does not mean they are in our group. It is possible the serial killer was lurking on this island all along, before they decided to murder my hero. Well... That's probably not possible. That is the only thing I can think of. I mean, no matter how much I think about it, I simply cannot believe it. Uh, that one of us is capable of committing such a horrible murder. No matter how much I think about it, I simply cannot believe it. Sonya. I do understand Sonya's feelings, but... It's highly unlikely that there's a serial killer hiding on this island. Right? 
Alright, let's see what Meekin has to say. Meekin, you had something to say too, right? Um... Well, compared to the others, what I have to say isn't that important. So please don't get your hopes up and be disappointed. I get it, so just get on with it. I tried my best to perform the autopsy, and I was able to find out... My hero was definitely killed by a blow to the head. She was probably struck from behind by one blow. Based on the scar, the weapon is clearly the metal bat. <laughs> but every dark cloud is a silver lining, as they say. Um, it looks like my hero didn't suffer. What does that mean? Well... There's no doubt that she died instantly. Her death was instant? That sounds a little strange. I think I better remember that. So that obviously clearly conflicts with the blood streak we see. Does that mean someone dragged her to the wall? Possibly in order to create the scenario, you know, of them being dragged over to a wall, or them dying next to a wall? I wonder. And there's another thing I found. <laughs> I'm sorry I started talking on my own. Are you busy right now? Just tell me. Well. During the autopsy, I discovered this in my hero's pocket. I was going to tell you in person, but I couldn't find you, so I put this in your mailbox. About what we discussed earlier. Is it okay if we change the place and time? I want you to come to the beach house on the second island at 2.30 p.m. Seems there's someone who wants to interfere with our meeting. Let's keep it a secret. Until then, let's try not to see each other for a while. It would be bad if they started suspecting us for no reason. Hyoko Sainiji. Sainiji. This letter. <laughs> if this letter is real, it would mean Hyoko met up with my hero, right? Plus, my hero's estimated time of death was around 3 p.m., and they met 30 minutes prior. If we think about what that implies, then... Uh, uh, yeah. I'm starting to get confused. If that's true, what does it mean? What happened between my hero and Hyoko? Uh-oh. Well, hopefully we were able to get something out of Fuyuhiko. The time for unparalleled hedonism has come to an end! Come! Now is the time to fight the decisive battle! The hostility of fresh blood, the insanity of a contest of wits! The class trial is finally raising its curtain! So meet up in front of Monokuma Rock! Once you're there, please proceed to the underground by taking the elevator located at the secret entrance. <laughs> I'll see you soon! I mean, I think we all know who did it at this point. Now then. Now, as for a motive, why? Not 100% sure, but... Or maybe it was a setup. Oh, it could have been a setup. I don't know. I have, a, I have a second theory as well. Could be Fuyuhiko. You know, maybe he's Guy F. I guess? Looks like it's time. I guess the investigation is over. So it's finally starting. The class trial where our hopes and the killer's hope will finally clash. <laughs> but it's alright. Either way, hope will win in the end. Alright. Now then, let's go prove it. <laughs> What's he so excited about? There's no reason to respond to a guy like that. Anyway, we should start heading over. The trial field where Monokuma is waiting. I have to make my case there. There is no escape. We have no choice but to press forward. Now then, let us go. As we talked amongst ourselves, we left the beach house and my hero's body. All right. We'll leave it off there. Um, when do I want to do the stream? Where's my phone? I gotta get my schedule again. 
All right, looking at my schedule, it looks like I could do tomorrow evening, Thursday the 7th. Now, at the time I'm recording this, this is tomorrow, but I might not get this uploaded necessarily until, well, looking at how my schedule is today, probably around midnight my time or so. So I'm going to, so it might technically be today, um, depending on when this gets uploaded, but we'll do a 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Thursday at 7 o'clock for our trial. So hope to see you guys then. Thanks for watching. Bye!